The secret history of Tom Travel. Mr. Serene needed to survive. Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Wait till you see the gameplay, Max. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm going to need a ride. The streets are too hot. Also, Max, whenever you make choices in the game, it changes the live action episode. Things happen differently. And sometimes things you do in the game will have like a small effect on the episode and it'll tell you when it does. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. Hey, it's more than little guy, guy. The, little guy with the, with the teeth. You like that guy. I'm looking at the bridge right now. Oh no. A lot of monarch. I don't know, maybe you could sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I can pick you up. Let me know. I'm pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. The monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. I went over to that generator on the roof like it was a chest. I'm so used to playing RPGs where you... What? So, we don't know where he is. We can't, okay. uh... We Still can't there? Find him. So yeah, so just looking for a viewpoint. Oh. Still have no visual on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's going to be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any bright ideas? Nice patience, folks. Have you on your way? Feels like a big escape room with a t slash TV show uh, with guns. See. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. I'm switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. For those of you just tuning in, the man okay, how we get down there? Where's the fire pole? Oh, shit. Escape room with pew pews, or you're like, yeah, like make it escape room slash laser tag. The escape room start on separate ends of the facility. And you get to figure out the puzzles to be able to get into the rooms to fight your opponents. Better hurry. Uh oh. Tom done went and stopped it for a second. Security personnel, if you have anything to report. That's an idea. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I would ever execute it. I don't have the means or necessarily the desire. So if somebody wants to make that fucking happen, just give me a free ticket when you open it up. Somebody sneak around down there. Hey, fuck you, hey, Narc. I think that's Jack Joyce. Look at this guy. Hey, you! Hey, everybody, look!
Who the fuck else wants some? Oh, hey. How are you? Oh, hey, fuck you. Try to use my own move against me. All right, all right. My plan to meet Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you. No, but it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it. Slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. Get up on that bridge and make my way across it before the stutter ends. Bro tattled. I thought that said bro tatted for some reason. Like, yeah, I have a couple. Okay. The scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Yeah, people Here just let them do this shit. Heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Oh, shit. I don't have that much ammo. I'm about to have to take this guy out with a pistol. Broly, what's up? Broly, how we doing? The sound all fucked up. Guy's got a fucking grenade launcher. Sure. Wait, did that work? Oh, he blew up and it blew up the car. Good, good, and you? I'm doing all right, man. Fucking, like we just ended up watching a whole ass episode of a cutscene, and now I'm in a boss battle, and uh, I'm not doing a good job. How far back did it take me? Oh my god, dude. This will be fun to walk back through again. I'm so glad that they gave me a bunch of ammo and stuff to work with before this. Super duper cool of them. The 
The scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. Ooh. I, however, would have missed this Kronon. Honestly, I can't see him showing up here. It says there's six of them in the level. I don't even know where I am. God damn. God damn. We got him though. Oh, there was a fucking reload here the whole time. <laughs> the boss taking a little bit more time to beat. My man was on it. My man's was on it. I like how everything's stuck in time except for the doors. I know that whenever he touches things, though, it brings it. It goes ahead and gets it in the field. Okay, so... Okay, I won't let me shoot. I was gonna see if you could shoot the fucking seagulls. I know it's awful. Jesus, what do you do? I guess you just hope time doesn't start back up, right? Oh no. This is so bad. Uh, 
I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Yeah. Don't worry guys, we got this. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Okay. Okay. Horrible timing. Ha <laughs> Now what? This frozen crash was a mess. Somehow I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. That looks like I should be able to go there, but... I said hi and then disappeared. Oop, and I was using the wrong account. God dang it. That's actually hilarious, but I'm glad you're here. Think I can jump down there, guys? I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. What a good checkpoint, too. I kept heading downwards. So that I can watch this cutscene over and over and over again. The route down wasn't exactly user friendly. Yeah, except I can't fucking make it there. I tried already. Oh, okay. <laughs> that time it worked. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync. Crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken, in chaos, frozen, and no one would know. Okay, am I supposed to hold still? Come on, hold still. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Damn. 
fracture was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was gonna get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Amy fitting into the role. Let's go. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Okay, so let me check this stuff first. This was the guy delivering the speech at the gala. Name's Martin Hatch. According to Monarch Radio, he's been deemed a traitor. Sabotaged a Monarch lab. Potential ally? Not even close. Beth's 2010 plan. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way... We don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Dr. Amaral seems convinced that Paul's been to the end of time. Do you think that's true? Can't be. Otherwise, trying to prevent it would be pointless. Why? Because it's already happened. Maybe that's why. He thinks it can't be stopped because it already happened. He saw it, therefore Dr. it happened in the, the past. Direction. And if it's happened in the past, yeah. it can't be changed. I don't know. Time's, time makes my head it's hurt a little bit. And weird. Womp womp. It's the womp womp field. Did she find anything? I'm not sure. I'll go check. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. <laughs> what happened to the power relay? 
I like it when things get weird. Yeah, me too. The machine was activated. Seven a.m. That's hours before we could go. Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. It's a perfect place for a reset switch, Will. Okay. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to get up there? Oh. Probably this ledge right next to me, this conveniently placed ledge. Okay, the first red light is now green. Good. One more to go. I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach the other side of the machine. Okay. So all the way down, cool. Are you supposed to be watching her, by the way? Why are you in here? Hey, shouldn't you be keeping an eye on Amaral? Okay, but first, you need to check out the intel I uncovered. All right, what is all this? I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. I also found a video of your brother. It's on that TV. You're going to want to see it. Everything Ugh. else is printed out and put on tables over there. Oh, so I can read it? Okay. The date is... Uh, the date is... It's, it's February 28th. Jesus, Will. 1999. William Joyce. 1999. Uh, after months... First experiment. Arduous work. My machine is finally ready for human testing. Ready is defined by me, since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black holes mass density by tangent. Okay, in short summary, I built a time machine. It works. I'm gonna prove it or die. Okay, just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise Around the corridor. Okay. Core is active. Chronon levels are stable. Travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. Corridor. It's locked in place. Okay. Setting the date to five minutes to the future for the first test. Now, admittedly, traveling to the past would be much more impressive. But I can't travel backwards in time only as far as the first activation of the machine's core, which is, well, now. Okay. Machine's ready. Monitor is stable. Damn, so he 
turned on the time machine and motherfuckers came through with guns. <laughs> I guess it'd be a uh, side effect of messing with Anybody time. here we can trust? Fiona. She's my only remaining contact on the inside. What about this Burke guy? He was under arrest in the same transport as me. Jury's still out on Burke. The lifeboat. Yeah. Well, according to Monarch Communications, Paul Serene just activated that thing. Far sooner than they were supposed to. What does that mean? Means we have less time than I hoped. All right. Hey, Amy. What am I looking at here? I've been recording Monarch communications with the radio that Beth left me. I made a compilation of anything that seemed like it might be useful. I'm sure it is useful, but I ain't read I ain't reading all that. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. Kept everything. What's wrong? Toto. My signature. You made this? I've never even been here before. Yeah, when are you gonna I get it that you go back in time and you do you're gonna do shit? So Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told... And you were just never going to fucking mention that. Pretty fucking critical information, Beth. Jesus, fuck. Amateurs. Myself would happen. Did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened <laughs> to get us here, every sacrifice that was made. For real, what the fuck, dude? Path, and they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. Yeah, dude. Fucking Lee. Like, why did, did we even have the argument before? Why do we even have the argument the about what? full of dates. My God. Events dude. that would come to pass. Instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. Climbable. Fuck, I hate that. That might be the what? only thing so far in the story that's made me like a little bit upset.
this may actually work. It's ready. It's actually functioning. <clears throat> okay. Okay, we're doing this. I'll set the data to the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? Here we go. Going back in time. That's it. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait. What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. What did you do? Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. Bruh, shoot her stupid face, man. I'm gonna follow through with the plan. Tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay? Man, the plot thickens yet again. This plot's so thick. My goddamn is thick. Two C's. So this is what time travel looks like, huh? Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait. Because I wasn't alone. Okay, look. Okay. What's going on here? Since when did Will run a graffiti workshop? None of this crap was here in 2016. It's locked. I gotta check out that gunfire before I go anywhere else. What the? Someone's in here. Probably will, right? Your brother? Yeah, sneak up on the lady firing the gun vigorously. Her back to 1999. She probably had to chill out for fucking this is it. 11 fucking years. Jack?
Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. set William's machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't shoot! Hey, hey, don't shoot! Hey, don't shoot! Hey, it's okay! Hey, it's okay! Ah. It's okay. I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. There's some things you need to know. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. So you just like didn't do anything for eleven years? Just shot guns at targets? She had changed. And there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. I can't do this anymore. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't fucking do this. Homie's gonna destroy the timeline jumping around? Like, oh, dude, it's so fucked. What exactly do you believe changed in Beth? She lost hope. Eleven years. Eleven years know. is a lot of time, though, so... So where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop. Where he built it. Then, that's where we go. Uh, yes. That was the plan. Just have to unlock this. Why are you being so sussy, Beth? My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. There's so much you don't know that you never saw. I... I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. I need to know we're still in this together. I told you once our fate is already laid out for us. I still believe that. More than ever. I'm just worried what that might mean. Okay, she got the loadout? It means we finish this. Mind you guys, Jack's been involved in this for a whole 24 hours. Along with everything Not even a whole 24 hours. That's a little drastic. My time here is done, Jack. I have to erase my presence. Let me know when you're ready to go. Measures at Will's workshop. We find it, then what? <laughs> I think back here. since you're your future you self, you would still be future. tired. You would just be Use it to stop the back in time where you were still tired. Always the plan. That is still the plan. Yes. I'm ready when you are, Jack. 
Yeah, I fucking get it, Beth. Sorry you're in such a fucking rush. Just dang, I must be time traveling a lot because I'm always fucking tired. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, we'll change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. Oh, you still don't get it. <laughs> it can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over and over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. Damn. Just kiss already. Then we'll die finding out. Yeah, with that attitude, right?